show you how to connect Radiolink AD102 with TBS Pro's file. As we already know that Radiolink AD9 Pro can also connect to TBS Pro's file. So what is the difference? AD9 Pro transmits data through TBS Pro's file protocol. So the response time is faster. But AT102 transmits the data to TBS Crossfire through the PPM signal output on the back of AT102. And then TBS Crossfire transmits the signal to TBS Crossfire receiver. So the response time is not as fast as 89's Pro. Then I will show you how to connect the radio link 8102 with TPS Crossfire through the PPM signal output in the simulator port. Step 1 Connection When you buy TPS Crossfire, there are some cables in package. This cable with two pins connector and also this one with two pins connector. I plug it into RC input for signal. Here is DC input to supply power. After that, we need to prepare a cable by ourselves. The cable is usually packed when you buy simulator. I plug one end to simulator port of 8102 and connect the other end to TBS crossfire. This is TPS Crossfire Receiver. Then Radiolink Minipix Flight Controller. Plug one end of Minipix Receiver Connect Cable to RC in. and the other end to TPS Crossfire Receiver. Make sure the polarity is not reversed. Connect mini picks to computer with USB cable. Power on 8102 transmitter and then power on TPS crossfire. I've already finished the bending between TPS crossfire with the receiver. For more details of binding, please check the instruction manual of TPS crossfire. Step 2. Set the data on TPS crossfire. Long press the button to enter the menu. RX Nano. Output map. Output 1 should be sparse because Minipix supports sparse or PPM signal. If you use other flight controllers such as F4, F7, we can set the output to crossfire. Also, please note to set mode 
to TF channels. If you set it to eight channels, there will be only eight channels output for the receiver. Step three, connect mini peaks to mission planner. Choose the right COM port and the door width. Connect. Connection succeeds. Click hardware config. Radio calibration. Calibrate radio. OK. Remove all sticks and switches to their extreme position. And you can check if the movement of the joystick is corresponding to the bar movement of mission planner. The bar movement in mission planner means that the signal has been recognized by mini peaks. After that, click when done OK. So that's all about how to connect 8010 with GPS Crossfire. Let's have an overview of the connection 8010 and GPS Crossfire. TBS Crossfire Receiver. If you use flight controllers such as F4, F7, you can set different signal output. If you set SPAS, the receiver will output SPAS signal. If you set Crossfire, the receiver will output Crossfire signal.